Seven o'clock and stand for the pledge, please. I pledge to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, I get a motion to accept the minutes of May 18th. Aye. That's a vote. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Get a motion to accept the financial report and uh, payment of the bills. So, so minutes. Okay. <laughs> Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. We need to do the minutes from the 25th to Tuesday. That's right. I'm sorry. I skipped over that, yes. All right, can I get a motion to accept the minutes of May 25th special budget meeting? So moved. Second. All, right. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carried. Okay, we have any budget amendments? No budget amendments? Okay. All right, we have a special presentation of certificate of recognition this evening to two young ladies that had finished uh, in the top finalist. Uh, there were four within our region and two of them uh, were right from our own area here, from the Immaculate Conception School and for the Maryland Municipal League If I Were Mayor contest. And they came in as our top finalists. So if Miss Amy Poor and Hannah Z yeah, Zemerwicks uh, come up front. That's okay. the way their parents are getting ready to get a picture. Thank you. 
break the law. If a business continues with this crime, they will face jail time. The fish in the lakes and oceans will be healthier for humans to eat. I will hire scientists to develop a clean fuel for the world. This fuel will be cheap so anyone can afford it. There are several ways to encourage citizens in participation and helping the community. I will give away a thousand dollar prize to the home winner of the best idea. The second prize winner will receive a 500 gift, gift certificate to a grocery store of their own choice. Finally, their names will be displayed in the local newspaper. The community would have monthly free picnics during the summer months. My citizens will be thanked for lending a hand to improve the world. This can inspire the young and old to volunteer and give back to the community. Very good. Okay, we got something else here for you too. Mayor and Commissioner of the Town of Dalton, certificate of recognition to Mr. Abby Lamore and to Anna Zamoris. I hope I got that right too. Um, whereas the mayor, Maryland Municipal League, was found in 1936 and represents 157 municipal governments and two special taxing districts throughout the state of Maryland. Whereas each year, the Maryland Municipal League invites fourth grader students throughout Maryland to participate in the statewide essay contest, if I were mayor, I would. And whereas the Maryland Municipal League received over 2,700 essays in this Abbey Lenore composition, was chosen as one of the top four finalists for the District 10, of which the town is a member. And therefore, on behalf of Maryland Commissioners and the citizens of Elkins, we invite them with sincere appreciation and congratulations, Ms. Abbey and Hannah, the more, uh, Immaculate Deception School, a witness thereof, who have been to set our hands and seal the town's office this first day of June, 2011. Charles Gibbons, Earl Piner, Mr. Fix, Mary Joe Dubonsky, and Joseph Dalton, son of the mayor. What a fine example of our future right here, these two young women. Wonderful essays. Thank you so much. Okay, Lewis. Five would be county municipal or uh, employees. 
the executive director of NACO and the executive director of MML would also be enough to get a total of 12 persons on that board. In order for this to occur, each member of the Local Government Assurance Trust has to vote by resolution to approve this. So I would recommend to the board tonight that they um, adopt resolution R3-2011 in order to do that. Okay. Do we have a motion to accept resolution R3-2011, Local Government Insurance Trust? I will make a motion to adopt resolution R3-2011. Second. Second. Any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carried. That's all I have. Okay. Uh, we just had a couple of things. Uh, first of all, I'd like to uh, congratulate the um, chief on the uh, first Citizens Police Academy, Academy that uh, we had the graduation the other night. Uh, we had nine people go through there, which was really nice. And um, apparently it went very well. They were very pleased with it. And uh, I'm hoping that we can get another uh, one started. I guess you have plans to start another one. But it was very well received. Uh, so um, good job, Chief. Uh, Lewis, the other thing on the... Um, Planning and permitting of the dredging of water treatment plant raceway. Where do we stand with that? I'm sorry. Dredging of the raceway. Are we getting? I have um, in two weeks. I have a meeting at the site with uh, KCI and the Corps of Engineers, who will grant who uh, are there to look at it in order to grant a permit. We need a joint permit from the state and the federal mm -hmm. government in order to do it. Wow. So we're meeting out there about the permit. We're going to get the Corps of Engineers. I can send the. Uh, Email to the board if you like. Okay. Uh, mm, yep. Mary Jo. I don't have anything. Well, I do want to thank everyone for coming out for the car show. Um, it was a great success, and I thank you all for being there. And that's it. Okay. Earl? I have no problem. Charlie? Yeah, Mary Joe, while you talk about the car show, I went past uh, Oxford the other night and they have, I don't know where the place is, I think it's a very big parking lot. As you're in Oxford, there are zillions of cars there, similar to what you have. I don't know if you've been there or not before, but they had a lot of participation. Um, Actually, that, that reminds me too, um, talking about car shows, you know the Elk Landing was having a car show as well? Uh, yes. the British, British cars, I guess they are. Yeah. So we have now British cars in, in town. You have to come out and take a look at those. Secondly, Lewis, how is the uh, recycling going? Very good. As soon as we get the uh, May report, we'll issue it to the board. We don't have any weights yet because the May, when it started, there's no uh, plan to record yet. And obviously, on the um, holiday we had yesterday, even though the paper said that trice was going to be picked up. And, and certainly it was, there was still some downtime, I guess, uh, to men went to other sites that, not other sites, but the normal sites that they were going to today, because I guess to make a day out of the work. Yeah. And um, again, to the two young ladies at the back who wrote the essays, uh, I applaud you for your efforts. Um, it's nice that you have a concern with the town because one day you will live in a municipality and you can um, be able to um, follow out your dream. And again, as I said before, tonight at Alton High School, I went to the awards and I said last year, and I forgot what this year budget, and hopefully it will be mentioned next year that maybe we can have a scholarship as the county commissioners give out and other government agency, because that's a way not only giving back to the young kids in Alton, but here's a fine example of the two young ladies that came before us right now. And with that, that's it. Okay. Becky. 
a while Becky is coming. I forgot. I saw Becky on Memorial Day <clears throat> standing in front of 150, and she had uh, draped the uh, the railing with the red, white, and blue, and put up little uh, bows up there. And uh, she herself had on the red, white, and blue, so she was in uh, in tune with the uh, with the holiday. Oh, Memorial Day. That's right. That's right. Then we got the 4th of July coming next. I'm doing what I'm doing for them. And I'm now also the, the president of the Bingo. Mr. Hicks knows that and noted before me. <laughs> but I enjoy it and I'm doing a lot. And also, Mr. Frank, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Mr. Joe, I would like to know if we can do anything with row six basically Scott Arrow owns two homes. Now we tore down the antique building because it's falling down, right? But these homes are a disgrace. I mean, a disgrace to even look at on the outside. Our officers did a wonderful job of 153. Definitely I told the chief tonight that if I had been one of the officers, especially the young lady that was cussed out, and then sitting in their front yard, which is no further from here, to the end of that table to the road, drinking beer and whiskey. I'm sorry, I would have had to lock them up. They have 11 people living in that house. Most of them are young children. And which house is this? 153, on Georgia County, Road 6 to the center. And most of them are young children. And I feel very, very upset and depressed about it because the children are not being taken care of the right way. They're neglected. And the animals, they have eight dogs and 11 cats in the house. Even the officers walked out and the young lady looked across the road at me and said, phew. I said, well, honey, you should have never walked in. Now you all have to take a bath. They said, yes, we do, Mr. McKinney. So, I mean, I think the state and the town of needs to do a little bit more than what they're doing, you know, towards that. It's Scott Arrow's house. I've spoken to him a dozen times. It's like I'm talking to the board. It's my home. Whatever I do here is my business. And if it's ever I want to live here, it's my business. So that's my answer I got from him. But the children are like seven up to, I'd say, nine, and they had the worst now that I ever heard out of a child that I don't want to grow up. But besides that, I thank God that we finally got the house that was thrown down, done. I know it was antique and I feel bad, but something, when the landlords don't take care of it, has to be taken away from them. The house that belongs to them, I told you all about it, and he said he would tend to it. I don't like to mention it in a meeting, but he, I know Joe would tend to it for me. And it's really a disgrace, a soccer. And I would like to attend it to, please. And I am trying my best to be the decorations up to July the 4th. Actually, it'll be July the 5th when I take them down, inside as well as outside. And I'm not finished, I will have other things hung up there when I'm done after the 4th of this month. And thank you all for riding by and seeing it and appreciate my work. And God bless you all. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Becky. Thank you. Okay. Nothing else? Uh, I get a motion to adjourn. So move. And second? Second. Any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Right. Right. Or just adjourn.